Hello, welcome back to The Groomsman, or if it's your first time, thanks for joining us. I'll be your host, Jonathan, and today we'll be using the Lupo .72. I got this on a new timeless handle that I just got this weekend, and Azalea City Suds Lemon Bark. This is in their Genesis base, which is their current base. This is an older tub. They have newer ones now in a, a larger size. I got this as a kind of a sample from Arthur a while back. Uh, he's a creator of Zellia City Suds. And uh, I solicited for recommendations for video content and he asked if we would feature his soap and I had it already because he sent me some a while back and I purchased a bunch of uh, samples from him. I have another one right here, the reserve stock. It's excellent stuff. And uh, so I said, sure, absolutely. Uh, I just lathered this up in a nice big clear plastic bowl for a shaving tutorial. This soap is really, really awesome. The scent's fantastic. It's lemon, cedar wood, very fresh springtime scent. I really like citrus scents a lot. I think the, the addition of this, the cedar is a, a nice touch. And the name is pretty, pretty descriptive of what the scent includes. Cedar bark. Or I said that wrong. Lemon bark. As you can see, the lather is fantastic. It's not hard to lather at all. It's a very nice base. It's got some excellent ingredients in there. Uh, goat's milk, water, stearic acid, tallow, coconut oil, obviously your uh, lye, mango butter, glycerin, fragrance oil, shea, coca, cocoa butters, palm, almond, avocado, and castor oils, bentonite clay, and sodium lactate. It's all there on the back if you want to pause it. Take a gander. He's got, I think, five or six cents on there. Uh, he's got an Etsy shop, Azalea City Suds. Check it out. And then we work in on some new formulations for his scents. I'll be excited to hear what he comes up with. So, again, Lupo 0 0.72. Oh, I'm using a uh, Wilkinson Zord Classic today. Uh, this is an unopened one. I just got it because it has the description on the back. I've only used these a couple times. I got this 100 of these with the 40s Super Speed, uh, Gillette Super Speed from a gentleman in a town over. I was going there for business stuff and just looked at Facebook Marketplace while I was there and this guy was selling an, an old 40 Super Speed razor and 100 of these blades for 10 bucks. Um, these are the ones that are made in Germany, although they're uh, sold in the US. And they have PTFE for less irritation. Um, they have a triple coating process of chromium to resist corrosion, ceramic for added durability, and PTFE for less irritation. I've only used these once or twice. Not 100% certain on how I feel about them. Uh, I know they there's a English made Wilkinson sword blades that a lot of people really like. Or the India Saloon Pack. Uh, so they're pretty popular as well. I haven't tried those, so I can't compare these German-made Wilkinson swords to the other. The Lupo is pretty awesome. I actually picked this when I decided to feature Azalea City Suds soap because the the maker, the artisan Arthur, also really likes the Lupo, and he talks about it often. It's one of his favorite razors. This is made by Razor Rock up in uh, Canada. And they make some excellent products if you haven't checked them out. Stainless steel. Very affordable. I mean, if you're looking for a stainless steel razor, I do not think that you can beat this deal. I think they're 70 bucks with a the handle. They have a bunch of cool handles. I've got a couple here. Um, the Halo is my favorite. This is a, I'm not sure what they call this one. I think a barbershop or something. The Nerling is more aggressive on this one. Um, I think I have another one around here somewhere. They're nice handles. He's got a whole bunch of different styles. Uh, there's stainless steel as well as titanium handles if you're into something a little bit lighter.
I agree with Arta Delupo is a very, very well designed razor. It's a little bit more aggressive than the Game Changer. Uh, this is the .72. They have a, I have the dual comb as well, and it's got a .95 closed comb on one side and a .72 open comb on the other. It's a little bit more aggressive. And then I just actually read two days ago that they made another milder version, the point, it's either .58 or .56. Uh, I never tried the original uh, aluminum lupo, but I guess it was a little bit more mild and these people wanted that kind of feel in a stainless steel. So I guess that's where the 0.56 lupo came from. I haven't tried that one yet. I might pick up the base plate just to try it. The base plate will work with the same top cap I already have according to the website, so the base plate itself is relatively inexpensive. And obviously this people was making quick work of the three and a half day beard I had going on here. I had a bit of a long weekend and I was on dad duty yesterday. I just never got around to shaving. Very smooth. I think one of the things I like most about the Lupo is the design of the head. So it's got, it covers the blade tabs on both sides, but it's got this notched out corners here. So it makes it so that the blade edge of the razor blade is right near the razor edge itself. So when you're doing lineups on like goatees and stuff like that, it's really easy to get right there next to it without trying to guess how much of an inch you need to go over without cutting into your facial hair, which could be a pain. I think I've talked about that more than once. That was first pass. Just add a little bit of water to the face. And then we'll lather up for a pass too. This soap is awesome. I probably say that on every video, right? Every soap is awesome. There's so many fantastic choices out there. I mean, if you're buying from an artisan, you're you got like a 98% chance of getting a quality product. I think the ones that aren't that great, the soaps that aren't that great, are usually not artisan soaps. They're usually like Williams. I don't want to catch some flack from that. I'm not a big fan of Williams. I've got some. I've tried it. Uh, I can make a lather out of it, although it's not. I don't think worth the effort. Uh, very thin. It works. I mean, if you're on a budget. Uh, it's like a dollar a puck, but I mean, you get a dollar performance, I think. And I heard they're going out of uh, business or they discontinue the product. I've noticed that at a couple local grocery stores here that kept it on the shelf, and um, one of them just has an empty shelf but still has the sticker for where it was, and the other one doesn't even have the sticker, so they're not ever going to replace it back for sure at that store. So I'm starting to think it's true that they're discontinuing the Williams. But artisan soaps with all these butters and oils and the soap qualities are pretty amazing. Arthur's also got a splash, uh, non-alcoholic. It's got a lot of good skin food in there, which hazel and stuff. And I just haven't bought it yet. The last time I purchased from him, I bought a bunch of samples because I wasn't sure what set I wanted. That's why he's got samples of everything he offered. I was trying to narrow it down, but I think I'm going to get another full set of this lemon bark because I really like it. And I'll get to splash in that and try it out. Lupo, I would say, is a very efficient razor. It's not aggressive, which is not my favorite term to use. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of, when I say aggressive, I usually think of blade feel. 
very positive exposure, which makes it kind of feel more, I don't know, scrapey or you just feel like you got a blade sticking on your skin. This doesn't have a lot of blade feel, but the angle that it has, it's very efficient. I get a very, very close shave. Even this 0.72, it's a very, very close, efficient shave. I think I might have cut, I got a little pimple right there. I think I just cut it. Yep, definitely got it. Just a little pimple though. And that happens if you're using a very efficient razor. Then you're more likely to lop off bumps, moles, imperfections you have in your skin. They're more prone to get nicked because that blade is so close to the skin. Yeah, it's all bleeding a little bit there. It'll stop soon enough. This scent's great. I love that lemon. I love citrus soaps. This lemon, orange birch from uh, Amy or uh, Nomad from Zingari Man. It's a nice lime scent. I love citrus. The only downside is, generally speaking, is like an aftershave or cologne. Most citrus scents don't hang out. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? And most citrus scents don't hang around, they tend to, they're nice top notes and they tend to dissipate and they don't really hang out. I wish it were otherwise, but it is what it is. I heard uh, C4 lime soap is very good. Not had the opportunity to try that one yet. I forgot how much I like this razor, it's very smooth. That first pass was a little rough, but that was shaving all that growth off. Boy, this blade is on this pass, and the second pass is just smooth, flying along. Nice, it's doing really good. Very close shave. I dig it. I'm going to owe Arthur thanks again today. Not only for the awesome soap, but for the the Lupo shave, I might have picked something otherwise. I like to collect razors and I have a bunch. I tend to, some of them tend to fall by the wayside for no good reason. That pimple sure is bleeding good, isn't it? I turn my head and pull my skin a little bit to get that area around the Adam's apple. It's a technique. Some people do this. They kind of pull their Adam's apple up and then make that skin taut. I've tried that before. It just doesn't work as well for me. I think I have a little scar there from... Actually, I think it's from cartridge racers. And over the years, I used... I was in the military and shaved every day. And You see a lot of irritation in your own hairs before I switch to carts or the double edge razors from carts. And that was an area in particular right here where I always got a lot of irritation in your own hairs because the hair grows in weird directions. And I think all the irritation over the years that made a scar where I was always getting in your own hairs and picking them out. So now it makes it a little difficult to get that spot without 
making that scar. That is a really good shave. All right, that was pass three done. I'm gonna do a cold water run, see if I can get this little weeper to stop bleeding and I'll be right back. Hello, welcome back. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, after that post shave, I'm gonna be using Oleo number 11. It's a nice barbershop-y scent with a little bit of a, a lemon top note, which is why I picked it to go with the Azalea City Suds. A little bit of alcohol in it. It's got a bunch of good stuff too, which hazel and aloe and honestly got that little nick spot and a little pimple I chopped the top of off. And uh, we'll finish up some Ariana and Evans push shape bomb. Uh, unscented. That shave with the Lupo is marvelous, super smooth, highly recommend that razor. It's very efficient without having a lot of blade feel. And they got that newer .58 or 5.6, uh, slightly more, I don't know if mild's the right term. I haven't used that one yet, almost needs to add a smaller blade gap. And the .95 if you want a little bit more. That's it. That shave was fantastic. Thanks for sticking with me. Zelia said he suds on Etsy. Go check them out. Uh, giveaway still active until the end of the week. Go check out Adam's video uh, for a chance to subscribe and comment on his video to win a Holy Ka King of Oud uh, full soap and splash brand new set. Um, thanks. Appreciate all you guys subscribing. We've definitely grown a lot in the last couple weeks. And hopefully we keep growing. Hopefully we keep providing you guys the content that you're asking for. And if you want anything else you want to see, uh, how to or a certain kind of razor or soap, uh, we'll try to accommodate that to the best of our abilities. Uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks.